Okay. Um, as told probably by the title of this video, I want to kind of briefly scratch over the surface of what the difference between uh, an extreme primal, such as like Shinryu, and um, a raid boss, such as like O5S. Like, what would be the difference between um, those kind of two fights? Um, and uh, maybe for a lot of the people who've already been playing the game for some time, they already have an idea of, you know, what the difference between the two are, but this is kind of mainly uh, geared towards some of the new people who may not know what the difference uh, between these two are. So, I'm going to kind of go over, um, one, I'll start off with, um, you know, what some of the consequences and stuff are, and this time I actually went back to Reddit and I asked a couple people again, you know, what they thought the differences were. So again, shout out to everyone that helped me out. I really, really appreciate all of your input. Um, I, I'm still new to this. I'm kind of shy when it comes to a lot of this stuff. So again, thank you so much for your input. So, um, I'm going to read from um, <clears throat> one of the comments that was made by uh, Ragnarok. And they had mentioned the main difference lies in how forgivable mistakes are, at least nowadays. If you make a mistake during Primal Fight, that will usually not kill you. It hurts a lot, and a following room AOE may very well be very deadly, but there is time in between to save you, and a very skilled healer can easily do it. Also, that mistake usually only has consequences for yourself because mechanics that can wipe the whole party if done wrong are rare. Which is absolutely true, and we kind of started talking about savage fights, and savage raid bosses will kill you with one hit if you mess up, assuming your progress when the content gets released, not later on when fully geared. And majority of the mechanics will wipe the whole entire party, or at least make survival extremely tough if one person fails. The difference has become a bit less recently with some extreme easy fights that have barely any consequence to personal failure, example for O1S, O5S, O6S, as a way to see ease to new raiders and to the experience, but it still holds up uh, to the majority of the savage fights. Another comment that I got from Soul underscore Bard Guy was that primals are designed to be farmed in Party Finder. Raid composition often doesn't matter outside of the 2 tank, 2 healers, and 4 DPS framework. Fewer mechanics where the entire raid will be wiped for one person's mistake, and DPS checks are, gen are generally forgiving. Fights usually consist of a warm up phase, ad phase, ultimate attack, uh, which can also include a music change as well, and a final phase. He also described that raid bosses, once a week kills, uh, progressively gets harder as the difficulty goes on and DPS checks as you go further and further into the tiers. Team composition might be more important, you might need to melee to range a caster for a limit break to deal with physical damage, resistance, adds, and some who might use uh, silence. Fights can be a lot more varied in their flow, multiple ad phases, multiple ultimate attacks, and your teamwork is more focused, more likely to see mechanics where one person makes a mistake and the whole entire, the whole entire party has to wipe. The boy Gary asks question of, what is the value of having two melee and two ranger DPS as opposed to four of each? And the answer that was responded was, a lot of the times boss will have mechanics that require the party to distance themselves from each other with small player targeted AoEs. As you can imagine, having four melees and two tanks would make this extremely unforgivable. Alright, so that about wraps it up. Um, if you guys have any comments about anything on how you guys feel about uh, raid bosses or uh, extreme primals, uh, just let me know. And um, hopefully I will see you guys in the next one. Uh, I'll thank you. Goodbye.